All right, the last example for this lesson is going to be involving arc length and radians using the formula we just had in the previous video. So if you didn't watch the video that I just posted prior to this, the formula for arc length, the new and improved arc length with radians is S equals R theta, where S stands for the length. They use S um, for length here, so just be careful with that. R is the radius. And theta is the new symbol that we use to represent the angle, but not in degrees, in radians. And we don't want to call them both r, so I think that's why one's called r, one's called the theta. And since we're already used to calling r the radius, then we're just going to leave it that way. So length radius times the radian measure. That's it. That's all that formula requires. So let's dig into the problem. The length of an arc is 8 pi length. 8 pi length is s. So the length is 8 pi. We're going to call that s, and we're going to write that here. If the radian measure of the arc is 2 pi over 3, if the radian measure is, so the radian measure is 2 pi over 3 radian, that's your theta. What is the radius? So we want to find r. And so we have two out of the three items in the formula. So our step to solving this problem is to write the formula down. Substitute the two items you have into the formula. So 8 pi is going to be s. We do not know r, so we'll leave that as r. And the theta, well, that's going to become 2 pi over 3. So we'll plug in 2 pi over 3 there. We're going to solve that for r. Now, there's a couple ways that you could do this. I um, will show you the calculator way and the way by hand, and you pick whatever works best for you. So 8 pi as a, as a decimal is approximately 25.1327. You can go out as far as you want on that, but if you're going to do this using a calculator, you want to you want to go out some some places here. 2 pi over 3 as a decimal is 2 pi divided by 3 but 2.094 so 2.094395 and you can go on forever if you want. But the idea here is that you have the numbers now. You can divide to solve for r. So we're going to divide both sides by 2.09. 4.395. Cancel those out. 2.09. 4.395. And basically, your radius is going to be this number divided by that number. So if we get all. Uh, exact here, we're going to basically take this number here and divide by that number. And it gives you 12. If you go out all, if you use all the decimal places, it's exactly 12. Now that's not a coincidence. Why is it a whole number? Okay, your radius should be equal to 12 in this problem, and here's why. Because you're not going to do this as a decimal. Um, we're talking, this is uh, inches, so 12 inches is your radius length. Now take a look at this problem from uh, 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 just working it out by hand, okay? I'm going to rewrite it over here. 8 pi equals r times 2 pi divided by 3. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of those pi's. you got a pi on both sides, they cancel out. So that's 8 equals r times 2 thirds. I'm going to write this as 2 thirds of r. And then my next step is going to be to multiply by 3 and divide by 2. So basically, you're multiplying by the reciprocal. So if I say times 3 over 2, those 3's cancel. Those twos cancel, and you're left with the radius by itself. 
and three over two times eight is three times eight divided by two. Three times eight is 24. 24 divided by two is equal to 12. So the answer to this question, of course, is the radius is equal to 12 inches. So stuff can be worked out as a decimal or, um, or by hand. You could, you could do this in the calculator with pi two. Uh, like, I mean, I can show you that real quick here before we move on. We know we did this divided by that. So if you did, it's a little bit more tricky, but if you did eight pi divided by, then maybe if you use parentheses, 2 pi over 3, you can get it to give you 12 that way too without having to deal with the decimals. So um, anyway, that's letter A. And I got a similar one. I want you to try to figure this one out. So pause the video. Do this on your own. And come back when you got it figured out. All right, hopefully you had a chance to work this out. In this problem, they give you the diameter. So the first thing you should do if you're given the diameter in the circle is cut it in half. Since the diameter is equal to 14, that means the radius is going to be 14 divided by two. So the radius is 14 divided by two, which we know is seven. So your radius is seven. That's your R value. The question is, what is the length? That's S of an arc subtended by an angle of five pi over four radians. Subtended is the angle that opens up toward that arc. So um, that's what that word means. Don't worry too much about the name of that word. We wanna know the length. We don't know S. We're given the angle in radians. So that's your theta. So your theta is five pi over four. S is unknown. So we'll plug in seven for the R, five pi over four for the theta. And we're gonna calculate this in two forms. We're gonna do it in terms of pi and as a decimal. So since the length is in centimeters, this would be in centimeters. And so let's do this in terms of pi first, which means that you will not type pi in the calculator when you, when you make your calculation. You will simply write in the calculator seven times five fourths or seven times five over four. And then you'll write pi next to it. So let's do that. So it's approximately 8.75. You could also write that as a re reduced fraction, which is 35 over four. So we're gonna write S equals 8.75 pi or 35 pi over four. Remember, if we we're gonna write the fraction, we wanna write the pi on top. So that is in terms of pi, that's an exact answer. Sometimes you're asked to round it, so we'll wanna also calculate pi in and figure out what that is as a decimal. So if you did seven times five pi over four, you get about 27.49, which is approximately equal to 27.5 centimeters. So 35 pi over four is 27.5 centimeters. Which way is better? There's no definitive answer. Um, a lot of times questions are in terms of pi, so it's best to have that. But if you're already starting with decimals, then you might as well end with decimals. Since this had a five pi over four in the problem already, I would be more inclined to write this as an answer just to leave the pie in there. All right, uh, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.